Oh, I look naked. Hi friends, my name is Frederick Chin today and I don't have a nickname because I changed my name on YouTube. Boy, have you lost your mind? And it's not a big deal at all, okay? My usernames are still gonna be that midget Asian. I'm just tired that people can't spell my name right. And if you have spelled it wrong before, I expect a 500 word, five page essay. Emily cited three paragraphs, intro body conclusion of why you spelled my name wrong and saying you're sorry. Don't worry, I'll give you a week to write them. I'll read the comments. This is a different look for me. I've always worn my glasses in my videos. To anyone who's followed me for a little bit and to anyone who's seen me in real life, you will know that as an Asian male, I was blessed with these and what we see is I have little to no eyelashes. Do you see that? Do you see? Oh, there they are. I've never had the privilege of having naturally long eyelashes. It's always these prepubescent boys on TikTok that have these long ass eyelashes that look like they have mascara on all the time. And I just want to experience that for one day, maybe a week. I don't know. I've tried all the treatments. I've tried castor oil. I've tried combing it through with coconut oil. I've tried all the oils. Nothing is working, okay? So I got a little desperate. <laughs> I was on Instagram. This is not sponsored, by the way. If anything, don't do what I did and buy off of Instagram because you're going to get hacked because I've been hacked before, but I fell for it. I saw this sponsored ad about lash lifting kits and the website seemed pretty legit. The reviews seem legit, except I ordered this three months ago and it got lost twice. So you can tell I'm holding a little bit of a grudge against this company. The brand name is this, okay? It's on every single packaging. I'm not gonna be able to hide it. Do you see this? But I just wanna try it. I wanna feel what it's like to be a boy with long eyelashes. My sister also falls under this category of straight eyelashes that go like this. I've yet to see an Asian who doesn't have this problem. Usually we have eyelashes, but they jut straight out. So you never can tell that we have them. I don't know if it's gonna look stupid or not, but I already look like this. My hair matches my shirt. I have a bucket hat sewn to my head. Why not ruin it even more, you know? It's almost my birthday. And I expect birthday wishes. And if I don't get 600,000 birthday wishes, I'm coming for your ass. So I'm gonna zoom in. It's gonna get uncomfortable. Hi, how are you? Don't look at my acne. Don't look at- <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, step one is to use the cleanser. Hold on, I need some Q-tips, I just realized. I can't find any Q-tips because I don't like buying them anymore, but I have some extra cotton pads. We're gonna take this cleanser. That's this big, mind you. You see, this is like an inch and a half. It smells like water. So this is supposed to get all the extra oil and dirt off my eyelashes. I don't really put anything on my eyes, so this should be fine. It does not burn. I'll give it that much. Step two, pick out the correct lift pad for your eyelid. So there's this pack of lids. Can you read that? There's an L on here. This one says M2, M2, M1. Oh, small, medium, large. I'm dumbass. I thought this meant left and right eye. It's okay, not everyone had a good education. That's kind of big already. I wanna see what large does. All right, so I figured out the sizes mean the thickness of the actual pad. So the thicker they are, the more curved your eyelashes will be. I'm gonna go for a medium one. I don't wanna look too stupid. That looks like a standard length that I would want. All right, apply the adhesive to the edge of the lift pad and wait a few seconds for it to get tacky. Put a line of adhesive to the underside of the pad, wait a few seconds and place it on my eye. Oh God. All right, here we go. Oh, I should use a mirror. All right, there we go. Oh, I can't see. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. Guys, my eye's too small for this life. God, they really don't. Can I cut this in half? Cause this isn't, this is way too big. That's what she said. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, I have an eye booger. There's no way this fits. Monolids have a different type of struggle. It, it, no, it don't, it just don't. I might just cut this so I can actually use it because this is getting a little bit out of hand. See how it doesn't curve at all in those areas? That's a bit of a problem in it. Okay, you know what, I'm cutting it. That much off, right there. And how does that fit now? See, that's already so much better because it doesn't jut into my eye. Let's try this one more time. Lash adhesive, wait a few seconds and then, <laughs> Uh, can you just stay in place, please? All right, I have that in place. This part isn't really stuck, but there's no eyelashes there anyway. And for anyone who said I had small eyes, hope you change your mind. This is small, okay? But see how that's placed right at my lash line? I did pretty well. Now you do it to the other side. I don't know if this is the best idea because then I won't be able to see at all. We'll figure it out. Frederick needs a thick layer of glue. Maybe if you have double eyelids, is a different problem. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, I can't see. I don't know what I look like in the camera. It's all blurry. I hope you know. Oh shit, he looks beautiful. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is a good look. I have to open this eye to read it. This is my sight of vision, by the way. Here, and then everything else is blurry. Apply adhesive to the edge of the lift pad, then wait a few seconds for it to get tacky, and then use the lash comb to lift your lashes onto the pad. Make sure they're separated. 
I want you to know, this is the lash comb. You see that shit? What fuckery is this? This is the lash comb to you? How do you, how, how, huh? Whatever you say. All right, I'm gonna do one eye at a time, obviously. So a layer of glue, and I'm putting a thick layer because I don't want any of these lashes falling off. I have to go to dinner like this. <laughs> My parents are gonna see me like this. Okay, wait a few seconds. One, two, three, there. And take the lash comb, and now we start combing. So, minor problem. I don't think my lashes are big enough to get there. I thought I placed it close. Apparently not. That was a workout, but do you see that? Guys, they're there. I'm sweating so much. It turns out that I didn't put this as close as I thought I needed to. I don't know how much closer I can get, but next time, just know it needs to be right at the lash line. Closer than your eyeliner. Let's try the other side now. These things aren't really made for me. Like, see how this has to bend so much to curve around? No amount of glue will allow that to happen. Doesn't mean I can't try. Just keep it closed. Ooh, she's a natural lady. This feels so weird. Surprisingly, nothing burns. I will say that much. So how's your day been? Mine's been great. I've been sitting like this for already 20 minutes. Okay, it's time to put all the glue back on. This looks and feels just like Elmer's clear glue. Okay, I might not have footage of this, but I'm just gonna try to do the same thing I did before. You get the idea. I need to do this off camera. Guys, I do not know my eyelashes were that long. That's just proof. You know, your eyelashes aren't short. They're just straight, probably. I'm also going to double coat these because I can see that I did not put enough glue. What if I went to sleep like this and it just permanently makes it curly? Who's willing to test that theory? By the way, that comb works really well. I just don't see how it didn't rip off every eyelash because I was tugging really hard. It seems as though every time I do this to my eye, I lose three. Apply the perm solution along your lash line root area. Cover with cling film and wait 15 minutes. It's 2020. Why am I still using plastic wrap on my eyes? This is the perming solution. Tell me why it's so small. And it looks like I need a tool for it. This is the only tool I can find, but if you go to Sephora, they usually have the sample eyeliner brushes. Just take a couple of those. They got enough. Ooh, I know what that smells like. It's ammonia. Is this safe? Like, should ammonia really be that close to my eye? Because when it's close to my nose, it dies. You all remember those experiences. <laughs> I'm going to be generous with this. I need to make sure I have a lot. It's still not burning my eyes, so that's good news. Oh no. Oh, my eyelashes are falling off. Not falling off, but they're they're coming undone. I thought I'd glue that shit down. No! Why? This glue let me down. This eye is testing me today. Okay, perm solution is on, and now I have to cling wrap for 15 minutes. Okay, cling wrap. Um, what's the best way to go about this? Okay, I'm gonna listen to a podcast. I'll be back in 15. 15 minutes later. Oh my god, that was the longest 15 minutes of my life. I don't even know if my camera's still recording. I had this headband to the side just in case I needed to put my hair up, and I thought it'd work for like pushing the thing against my face so that it stays put. Isn't this a kink for some people, like being blindfolded? <laughs> okay, let's check. Am I recording? Ugh. Beautiful, I bet. Everything is blurry. You guys know these glasses are only blue light, but I I really think I need glasses at this point. I can't see you guys. Um, oh, I am recording. I see the red dot. <laughs> Remove perm with a cotton pad. Repeat process with the fix lotion and wait eight more minutes. <gasps> are you kidding me? Wait, fix lotion. Found it, found it guys. How am I supposed to remove the perm without removing the glue? Okay, they said cotton pad. Oh no, I'm trusting this cotton pad right now. I really can't tell if I'm getting any of it. My eyes burned a little bit at some point, but I think it's because I was tearing up and it just got into my eye. Is it me or is that blue? I really can't see. Um, y'all y'all tell me. I don't know how you expect me to see where to put this on my eye. I'm just guessing. I think that's around it. And I did wash this, by the way, with some spit. And what if I just put on my fingers? Pretty sure I have a better chance of getting this all over my eyelash if I use my finger at this point because my vision is 0 out of 20 right now. Actually, I think that means I can see out of one eye. 0 out of 0. 8 more minutes. Okay, I'll finish a Jenna Julian podcast by then. Ooh, I can put it around my ears this time. Alright, peace. Where's the off button? Shit. Shit. I put this on and I don't have my phone. Shit, 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 shit. I need a podcast. Hey Siri. Oh, one time Siri becomes useful. Set a timer for eight minutes. All right, 
Now it's goodbye. Wait, you're here. Right, shit. A few minutes later. My alarm's on. My alarm, my alarm, my... Where am I? Oh my god. Okay, if this actually works out, then I can confidently say that Frederick's Asian Beauty Salon now includes lash lifts just at the low, low price of $100 before tax and shipping and handling and tip. How do I look? <laughs> Apply the nourish lotion and rehydrate your lashes. Repeat steps one through eight on the other eye. I was supposed to do this on one eye. That would have taken two hours instead. I guess I take these off now. And I'm just gonna wash my face a little bit. Does it say to wash your face? Use cleanser to remove any residue. But first take off the fixed location with the cotton pad. Remove any residue. The good thing about this is I think it's supposed to last four weeks. And you can use this kit a lot of times, even though it doesn't come with a lot. But there's glue. This is a lot of glue, man. Okay, I need to wash my face. I'll be right back. Cause my camera blur is, it? oh, it's my vision. Okay. Do you see that big of a difference, guys? Any difference? Oh my God, I lost another eyelash. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's sort of curly, but it didn't really do anything. God damn it. What a guy gotta do to get some nice eyelashes around here. See, this is why I wear glasses is to cover up the fact that my eyes are lame. I'm shielding you from my eyelashes because there's nothing good about them. I just got a good close up. Is it? Is there a difference? Okay, they're all stuck by glue still, so I didn't get all of that off. There is some difference. I definitely see more of my eyelashes. My eyelashes are sticking to my eyelid like that. See that? I don't think this eye has enough love. But that's curly. I'm still pretty. You don't need to remind me. <laughs> it's like glue down to my eyelid. I hate it. I'm gonna do what they say and comb through them to get rid of the glue. Oh my god. Wait a second. Maybe face forward you can't see anything. But from the side, that is curled. That's curled. It's still clumping right there because of the glue. But that was a curl. Ooh. Here, I'm gonna do this for you guys. See? Do you see the curl? It's there. I'm not blind. I'm not putting the delusion clip, okay? I'm- it's definitely there. Whatever, this video is technically a fail because nothing really changed about the way I look. I still want to try this in the future. I will perfect it one day and then I will show you in a video. But I guess that's all I have. Let me put my- Oh, myself again. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below about what you want me to do to my face next. Subscribe for more videos every week, turn on my notifications, and as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Look at this, I tried to do something good and clean around the house and then my nail chips. Can you see a difference? There has to be some difference. There's a difference. Bye.